Hi everyone, my name is Megan Stackhouse, a meteorologist with the National Weather Service Office here in Grand Junction, Colorado. We're back today to talk about the meteorological fall climate summary for eastern Utah and western Colorado. Now, meteorological fall includes the months of September, October, and November, so let's take a look at each month individually. So first up, September, our headline of the month were the severe thunderstorms that we had on September 8th, 10th, and 11th, where we had wind gusts exceeding 60 miles an hour. And then on September 12th, we had our first snowfall of the season with a few light inches of snow falling in the northern and central Colorado mountains. October, our headline of the month were the record low temperatures that we had on October 30th and 31st. We had a bitterly cold Arctic air mass that uh, settled overhead, and as a result of the clearing skies and all that good stuff, we had those record low temperatures that were shattered across the region. You can see Craig dropped down to negative 2 and negative 9. Both Crested Butte and Gunnison had negative 11 degrees, and Grand Junction, we had our coldest temperature on record for October, actually, with 6 degrees on October 31st. So cold, cold, cold. <laughs> Looking at our headline for October, um, November, we had our November 21st funnel cloud, our cold air funnel. Um, it was in the Grand Junction area. It lasted for about 15 minutes before dissipating, but we still got some great pictures out of it. Looking at high temperatures across the region for the fall season, high temperatures, high temperatures were generally in the upper 80s to the mid 90s, although the Canyonlands Airport in Moab did hit 101 degrees a couple times during the month of September. Grand Junction, we had one last 100 degree temperature on September 1st. Looking at cold temperatures across the region for the fall season, with that bitterly cold air mass at the end of October, that's when most of our airports had their record, um, their low temperatures for the fall season. Craig, they bottomed at a negative 12 degrees on October 30th. Again, Grand Junction, we had that six degrees on October 31st. And Canyonlands, they were the most mild with 10 degrees on November 1st. Looking at precipitation across the region for the fall season, unfortunately, it was below normal across the board. Vernal, they were the driest with 0.96 inches for the fall season, which was over two inches below normal. Aspen had the most precipitation with 2.87 for the three month period, but that was still 1.80 inches almost <laughs> below normal. And then Grand Junction, we only had 1.15 inches for the three month period. As a result of that continued dry, um, Low normal precipitation, we did have the drought continue in our area. So we had the severe to moderate drought that's across much of the region. Um, and looking at the drought outlook for the winter season, it is looking like the drought is going to continue, but it should hopefully improve in the Four Corners area. And finally, looking at the Climate Prediction Center's three month outlooks for the month of December, January, and February. So right now, odds are favoring above normal temperatures across Eastern Utah and Western Colorado. As far as precipitation goes, there really isn't much guidance favoring either above or below precipitation for much of the region, but odds are slightly favored for above normal precipitation in Northeast Utah and Northwest Colorado. And that wraps up our fall 2019 climate summary for Eastern Utah and Western Colorado. As always, thanks for tuning in and we will see you guys uh, next season. Bye guys.